good day to everyone and welcome back to the channel today i have a decorating diy home decor art project that you can do for your home or maybe for someone else and let's get right into the video as this piece sits as you can see here it is framed in this very dark rich brown wood frame and it has some gold gilding that is going on within the middle border of the artwork but we're not going to keep this as is it is a beautiful piece but doesn't work with anything that i have or anything that i will have upcoming and we will talk about that in another video because i have a made change that has taken place and we will again talk about that in another video so the videos will definitely be changing so stay on the lookout for that but in the meantime let's get right into this video and let's get started so you can do a project like this for your home as you see here with this very large scale frame the mirror i mean the uh, excuse me the artwork that is here it is very large and long let's see i'm going to measure exactly how long it actually is on the table this thing is actually 54 inches in length it is really big it's not really wide but i the way i'm going to make the new piece that's going to go inside it it can go either way vertically or horizontally so horizontally or vertically i can stand it up either way is what i'm thinking so far of how i want it to look so the first thing i'm going to have to do is of course paint out what is here remove i'm going to remove the frame from the actual artwork that is here because I want to paint that but as you see it has this gold gilding that is going around the small edge and I'm going to leave that there so I want to tape all of that off and I want to do it very carefully um, for this piece that I'm going to finish out so let's get started with that see on the back of the frame is these clips that are used to hold the actual framing portion the canvas in place and then you just lift up and this is what you'll see normally on a um, more expensive piece of artwork or older piece of artwork you won't normally see this on the newer pieces because they just glue them in and whatnot but that's what you'll see and you just pop it right out that's it and that'll release the art from the actual frame and it makes it a lot easier to pop it right back in place when you're done. Piece that my girlfriend picked up from out yard selling and thrifting. She wanted to go out one Saturday and she saw this. She wanted it. I wanted it. <laughs> and so she got this and I'm going to redo it course with everything normally when you're putting something together or taking something apart there's always that piece that one piece that doesn't even want to fit go in or come off this one happens to be this one piece here that wants to give me the blues but there it goes is you take your always you want to take your hardware and put it away for safekeeping when you're done with whatever project that you're doing so that you can have them all handy when you're done so here's the piece the canvas from the actual framing and we go in here and i go ahead and take it all the way around I don't see any specific markings or dates that are on here to maybe date what um, year this may have been done. So, yeah, you can't date it. And uh, we'll just keep it moving. So let's go in and take it off. Then I'll take some handy tape. Pull that right off. Whatever I miss or cover up with paint, then I can always use some rub and buff and go around it with the tape. Get it as close to the edge as possible. And it might be simpler to just go around it with the rub and buff. 
you want to look at it because it needs to be touched up anyway. But let's just see how it looks when I'm done. As you see me doing in the video, I am going around again and taping off the gold border that is already existing around the frame. So what I'll do on the end, once I do go in and paint it, as you see here now, I have just taken a basic can of spray paint in white and it's not too creamy, but it does have a little bit of an off-white tint to it. I can't remember the actual color. And when I do find it, I will link it down below in the description area. And I just went in and painted it. As you can see here, a little portion of it, the paint did get under it. But again, as I spoke of before, I can simply use some rub and buff and go over that in the antique gold and give it back that gold finish to finish it. that I will go ahead and get the actual piece of artwork that was already existing in the piece but of course I'm going to protect my table cover up my cutting board and proceed with the painting process of that because I don't want to go outside because it is extremely hot if you are a resident of Texas you know what Texas summer is like it gets really hot so I'm going to place the artwork right on top of it and give it a good roll, probably two coats of the paint. You can use any basic paint to cover your canvas and if you want to be extremely perfected, you can always go to your local craft store and pick up some acrylic paint and paint over your canvas and do it that way. But I'm going to do it with some basic household paint and give it a good covering. I decided I wanted to try something different, which was this filling paper that is recyclable. And I thought this would look good on top of a canvas as some extra texture. But of course, being Chanel, I looked at it for a moment, not for this one. I changed my mind and I went in and did my own. Here is the finished product of all of the work that has gone into the artwork and as always stay inspired motivated and moving creating something beautiful if not for yourself then definitely for someone else stay tuned for more videos again things will be changing and i will keep you up and abreast on those changes that is to come but as always i really appreciate everyone who is coming over to the channel and all of those who are new as well as my oldies who have been there supporting me for many years thus far and it is greatly appreciated.